Well, hello, exciting things are happening today. I am so pumped. I'm at a vintage shop. There's actually three. So I'm very excited to go in and shop around, show you the cool new things. I'm not even inside the shop yet. My friend told me about this place, but I didn't realize like how close the vintage slash antique shops were. There, I, I can park right here and just walk to all of them. So I'm pumped to finally be going into one of these places. I think she told me about them like, I don't know, nine months ago or something. So it's been a long time coming. It's not in an area that I often frequent. Anyway, they're not open yet, I don't think, but there is a vendor here like unloading. So I'm really excited to go inside. Hopefully a hutch is in store for me, for my dining room anyway. Fingers crossed that I find something amazing. And then Trader Joe's is right down the road. I don't know, probably five, 10 minutes away. So I'm gonna pop in there and grab some things because it's Trader Joe's and like, it's awesome. I'll probably show you a grocery haul and then whatever the heck else I do today, you probably saw it in the intro. If I had enough time to make an intro, I always try. I have three things on my list today. Artwork, a shelf, and a hutch, obviously. So I cleared out the back seat. Alex, well, Alex did, Alex pulled down the back seats and he grabbed me a blanket. So hopefully, I find something amazing. Oh, and then a vase for the dining room table. We've yet to even unpackage the dining room table. You guys, on the way here is like clenching the steering wheel. Tampa drivers are wild and crazy, but also question, on maps, when I'm getting here, I wanna know when the speed limit is 60 and we're going 70 because everyone goes at least 10 miles above speed limit here. That's like the law, okay? It's an unspoken law, and maybe that's a Florida thing. You just go with the flow of traffic, right? It, mo and really, most people go 80, and if you're not keeping up with that flow, you better get your butt in the slow lane, okay? But even if I'm going 70, 80, I never go 80. And the arrival time on the GPS never changes. Make it make sense. All right, I'm gonna head inside. Look how dang cute this place is. And the sun is still rising. And then they have all this furniture just outside on the curb. Ooh, look at that easel. That would be fun for a wedding or something. Look, check out this retro dresser. And then the other place is called Freakin' Fab Furniture and Decor. Can't wait to pop in here. This place is styling. It's called Home Decor. Actually, it's not called that. Oh my word, actually, I have been looking for a mirror like this. Obviously, I'm not gonna get it until my room is finished, and I want like a more oval shape, but that's actually a decent price for this like vintage mirror. Oh wow, just stepping in this place is awesome. Everything is awesome. I've seen this, I follow them on Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, oh my gosh, one of my boomer. I follow them on Instagram. And I, so I see a lot of the stuff that they post. Check that chandelier, I do need a light fixture. Ooh, ooh. Oh my word, so many beautiful things. It smells amazing in here. Look at these chandeliers too, look at this artwork. That looks so beautiful. I'm not huge into like architectural artwork, hey. Oh, a regret I have for today, I forgot my purse. So I found like a little grocery bag in the car. <laughs> I was like, that'll do. I also didn't put mascara on, but life goes on, you know? Check out that chandelier. Oh my gosh, everything is so amazing. I don't have a round table, and I think the rule of thumb is like whatever light fixture you have should be the same shape as the table that you have, so I'm gonna stick to that. Maybe I'll get lucky and find something. Oh gosh, I just ran into something. Find something rectangular today. Like, look at this piece. What a find. Man, that's so beautiful. Check out the legs on it. I mean, obviously someone refinished it and stuff, $4.59. Okay, the stuff in here is not cheap, but also I think it's different vendors coming in. Even this is beautiful. <gasps> Ooh, is this beautiful? Is this, I don't even know if this will fit in my van. $3.98. Ooh, it's a Thomasville, wow. Oh, it matches the bookshelf over here or whatever the heck that is. Well, it's a little darker than I want it to go, but I'll keep it in mind. I think it's in here. I think I just peeked on it. I wish, oh my gosh, I wish it was this color. I love this. Should I just get this? It's actually a lot taller than I thought. Oh, it's sold. Oh my gosh, crying. Oh man, my dreams, my broken heart. This is the one, I think. Okay, don't see a sold sign on it. Hallelujah. It is a different color green than like, even on, even on the camera, looks different in person, but I think I like it better in person. 
but isn't she a beauty? A vintage hutch. It's 55 inches tall, so I, I, I may have liked something a bit taller, but I love the legs on it. Okay, I think I'm gonna buy this. I didn't bring a tape measure with me. Obviously, this is massive and beautiful, but um, not the vibe I'm going for. <laughs> this thing, should I just get this? Just shove it in a corner? I, the thing with shelves for me is I never know what the heck to put on them. I don't have that much crap. All right, coming on in here. This is beautiful too. Oh, look at that um, twin headboard in the back. Oh, is that a little boat? Oh my gosh, a little nautical section over here. Check it, coastal vibes for sure. I love that mirror. Whoa, okay, see there's so much stuff to look at. I overlook things. I just walk straight by them. Check out this lamp. What on earth? That is one of the coolest lamps I've ever seen in my entire life. Ooh, okay, now I'm trying to look for like tabletop decor. Not very good. This stuff is so packed in here. I mean, it's great, but also kind of overwhelming. Love. I saw this too. Yoink. Okay, saw this one and I kind of fell in love with it. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Love the colors. Love, I would, the artwork, perfect, perfect. Everything is just so beautiful. Check this piece out. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's the other hutch that I had my eye on. This one. And people, I, I had people vote on Instagram, like, should I get this and maybe paint it, maybe stain it, lighten it up a little bit. And they said, absolutely not. Like the other Hutch won probably like 90% over this. And I just want to know what the heck they're thinking. This is gorgeous. I think they're just doubting my DIY abilities. And honestly, I don't blame them. I made it to their outdoor section. Oh my gosh, so cute. So many beachy themed things out here. Even these chairs and the bench I'm about to show you behind me, just gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. Did you peek that elephant on the wall? Oh my gosh. Where do people find this stuff? Oh, this lady. I like her. She is a whole vibe. Ooh, check out these bowls. Everything's so pretty here. Did you see that happy hour clock on the wall? I'll show you again in a second. Oh my goodness, what is this? That's really cute. Where's the happy hour? Oh, pool, even that pool sign is cool. Ooh, the plants are 50% off. Oh my heavens. I haven't even done the other side of the indoor store. Oh, look at those pillows, how funny. Ooh, hold on, how about that artwork in the back? Makes a statement. Not, well, it kinda has green in it and obviously blue. With the green hutch, I would need something to like rise it up, you know? And I think maybe that might be a little too dark, but that's really pretty. I'm really enjoying the finds of this person though. This is really pretty too. I love this frame. Oh my, beautiful pieces in this one too. Ooh, the sounds. <gasps> the sounds of Golden Girls. The Golden Girls Summer, stop. How much is this set? Oh, this is like a, a proper, set here. I think it's just the cushions that are really giving off golden girls for me. Okay, well, it looks like this is out and I want to go back in. <laughs> is this a potting bench? So beautiful. And then what else did I see? This artwork over here? I've been watching Exo McKenna a lot because uh, she's amazing. I've been watching her for years, but just recently a lot more. Coastal vibes with these things happening. Ooh, and this artwork is really cute too. Ooh, I'm vi speaking of Exo McKenna, her mom puts out artwork and she releases some today. And I was actually about to buy some and then I was watching her and she said her mom was gonna release some. So I thought, okay, I'll wait. And I woke up this morning, went on the site, but they're on California time or different time zone, I don't know. So it'll be later today. <gasps> Ooh, check out this place though. Look at those pelicans, that zebra. Oh my heavens, the pug. <laughs> okay, hear me out. What about this? Is it too revealing? Is it too much? Because you know I'm just gonna shove a bunch of crap in there. What if I leave it blank? <laughs> what if I leave it empty? I made it into the next antique store. What do we think? Too blue, too blue. If, if we pick the green one, that's a horrible idea. What time? Okay, made it to the other store. I don't even know what this place is called. I think it's called, oh, whatever home decor <laughs> they have a lot of like bigger artwork pieces this could work i feel like i could even flip it on its side it's very abstract 
It's got some greens in there. It's lighter. Okay, got my eye on you. Let's see. Let's see if they have a hutch or something in here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So many, <gasps> wow, so many beauties. Look at these chairs. Oh my God, how are some people this good at decorating? And I am like hopeless. This is, I mean, what? These pieces exist. This is beautiful too. Oh, when I redo my room, uh, definitely coming back here when the addition is done in a couple of years, you know? <laughs> this, oh, this table is a beauty. Not big enough for us. Check on that artwork. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Oh, it's, of course it is. Of course it is. By the way, oh, there's double. Oh my gosh. Of course there are. Of course. Anyway, the other store I went to, they had the antique French country-esque cabinet and that sold too really quickly. I had my eye on that one, but I just didn't get there fast enough. Ooh, this is a beaut. Ooh, that's beautiful too. Okay, I'm gonna have to follow these people on Instagram and then just dream about them all the time. Let's peek in on this room. I'm not sure if there are different vendors in this one too, if it works the same way. Oh my word, the artwork in here is really eye-catching. Ooh, that sailboat. Okay, love it in here. How are we feeling? The drapes. Oh gosh, the drapes. This baby carriage, I'm crying. This place is incredible. That fish baking pan. <laughs> Okay, here I go. That's a beautiful corner cabinet. It's huge, it's massive. Ooh, this one's beautiful too. I have a corner cabinet that I'm trying to get rid of, but that's okay. Mine doesn't look nearly as nice as those. Ooh, that's like mid-century style. I mean, not that I know anything about anything, but I feel like maybe it is. <gasps> the flamingo is calling my name, it's green. <laughs> okay, well, I just looked at the price, $693. I'm gonna back away slowly and head on out to the other vintage shop. <laughs> Hold on, I feel like maybe this is the place I'm supposed to enter. I didn't even enter the, in this part. All right, this is like a fourth bonus. Okay, welcome. Here we are. Same music. I can dig it. Ooh, oh wow. There's so much to look at. I, do, I can't even like process everything. Artwork, beautiful. Oh my word, just met the owner. She is darling. Look, they have a Christmas room. What, 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 what? This is where dreams happen. This is the hutch she brought me to. It's a little bigger than what I'm looking for, like bulkier-ish, but it's beautiful. Okay, what's in this room? Let's peek. Oh, actually I saw some artwork and now I can't remember where I saw it. Everything is kind of just blending together. Oh, there's so much to explore. Wait, did I come in this section already? I feel like I didn't. Okay, let's just walk around together. Oh my gosh, these avocados, salt and pepper shakers, and then the baby picture. Oh gosh. And then the Whitney Houston blaring on the radio. Ooh, check this, grandfather clock. And then that artwork, stunning. Oh my gosh, that picture of the dog or painting. I don't even know what it is. This is actually beautiful. Oh, that's what I found. Okay, this is very cute. Lala, very cute, I love that. They have beautiful pieces here, artwork pieces. Here it is. Okay, I was in this room looking, just, you know, browsing around and I saw this piece of artwork. Gorgeous, how beautiful. Ooh, may have found a winner. This is like, um, coastal. It's got the greens. Is it too much color though? It's very pretty. How much is this piece of crap? It's a hefty few hundred. So I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, look at all these rolling pins. What was I even going to say? Oh, this place is a labyrinth. I'm wondering if it used to be a house. And now I'm just in my head like, oh, was this the living room? Was this the bedroom? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> How did these places connect? Ooh, more out here. That's gorgeous. It's definitely too bulky for what I'm looking for in the dining room, but oh my gosh, now I wish I had a different vision. 
not so coastal. Oh, I'm crying. That's beautiful. Okay, she was mentioning how, even if it doesn't fit my theme, love that, but mm, that's like too, too much for me. These are beautiful too, these pieces. Anyway, she was mentioning how if this was too much, I could just whitewash the frame, but I'm just worried the frame is too bulky. Also, I don't know how to whitewash. <laughs> now I'm at freaking fab. Ooh, it is freaking fab in here. <laughs> Look at this artwork over here. Much more open than the other areas. I don't know which way to go. <laughs> so I'm just standing here. Oh my word, they have the infamous bulk bags. So this place, I feel like has a different vibe than the others. More funky, more freaking fab, but still really cool looking pieces. Like, look at this. Come on. Is this my future dresser? It's the coolest. Ooh, this is actually gorgeous. All right, let me peek back here. Am I allowed back here? I don't know. I'm like tiptoeing. Ooh, they have purses and stuff. That's freaking fab. Check out that couch. Is that a futon? Oh my gosh, and more over here. See, this has got to be like some kind of house or something. Oh my word, had one of those. That's so funny. I feel like we just saw that at a thrift store too. All right, this is probably... Oh, wow. Check that piece out. This little desk. Ooh, found a hutch. Found a hutch. Wanted to show you this desk too. I actually might like this one better than the one at Summer House the you know wood toned one i think the lines are better but i don't know i kind of like the arch too but my chairs have lines <laughs> i'm not good at this but this is beautiful alex likes the green hutch the most i just texted him uh so you know it's his house too gotta have his input if you guys see something that would be perfect for artwork you have to tell me because right now i'm just at a loss that's really pretty Okay, I'm chatting with Alex, like back and forth texting. It's this this one, we're down to this one, or the green one. Two totally different vibes. That one's like vintage, this one is way more coastal, which I feel like will match the table. And then I'm like, okay, well, what about the bench? This is awesome. This bench is amazing. It's like a an old European, whatever. It looks beautiful, beechwood or something. And then I'm like, okay, well, what about the light fixture, right? It looks amazing and beautiful. I don't even know how much it is. Don't tell me. Oh, okay, maybe not that. But then the... I'm like, what about the basket? <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you think about these pieces? Do you love them as much as I do? I know they're pricier than maybe what I have, what I would have gotten online or whatever, but check like that basket. Oh my gosh, you guys, if I told you the price of that basket in that beach grass or whatever it's called, dune grass, holy crap. You know what? I might go back and get it because it's really expensive online too. But the thing about these pieces is that they're custom. They're one of a kind. They're so unique, which is what I want to fill my house with. And this is the first time I'm actually doing it. So I'm really happy that I made these purchases. This woman was so kind to help me we measured it and we were like oh it's a it's a couple inches short but maybe we can you know tilt it sideways no you guys we tried our darndest and I'm so glad that she was able to help me and she was willing to do that but it did not fit I was able to fit the chandelier and the bench in here and I couldn't be happier with these purchases I still need some artwork for the dining room so I'm gonna go back Eleanor is like itching to go with me so I'm excited to go back and find some really unique pieces that's what it's all about oh my gosh I could cry well that was wild and crazy <laughs> so I measured the van for what I initially wanted to get but obviously wait did I even tell you I bought the blue one the, oh it's like perfectly coastal I got the bench I got the chandelier it was like the whole get up I was like perfect I don't have to think right it's a completely different vibe than what I had envisioned but I think it's gonna work out a little better anyway we tried our darndest to get that thing in here someone was so nice one of the vendors was so nice she was there she, someone else was painting she's like while they're painting I'll help you and it wasn't heavy it was just awkward and also too big for my car by two inches so sad so I'm gonna have to call a moving company or uh, see if Alex can come out here with one of his buddies uh, they who has a truck fingers crossed I don't know but for now I'm gonna hydrate first of all because just standing outside I'm drenched in sweat from do it well I mean I was trying to move that thing but even just standing outside doing nothing the humidity is so much you, like I just start sweating okay 
I am so happy I found those pieces. And I don't think it needs an extra artwork. Well, maybe like something for the top. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna decorate. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do, but I did that. <laughs> All right, let's go to Trader Joe's. We've arrived at Trader Joe's, man. This parking lot is always a trip. <laughs> okay, let's go inside and explore. I do have a couple grocery bags and now, um, the whole ride here, I'm like, did I make the right decision? Did I buy the right pieces? Am I going to completely regret this when I put them in my dining room and it looks horrible? Is it going to look horrible? Is it going to look good? Oh my gosh. I'm out of gas. Wait, what is that? Oh, I'm not in park. <laughs> okay, bye. Trader Joe's, the place where they trade Joe's. Why is that not their jingle? It's my only question. Honestly, I'm kind of starting to dig the mini grocery bag as a purse. I mean, if there was ever an appropriate purse for me, this would be it. It wouldn't say keratin complex. Maybe, maybe I would choose something else. But I always love to look at the plants first. The aloe plants, guys, aloe is so healing. $6 is a steal. I'm envisioning these kind of flowers, but like obviously the fake kind, but more greenery-ish uh, on my dining room table. And obviously fake. Did I say fake? Definitely fake ones, right? <laughs> hey, it's summertime at Trader Joe's. They have their JoJo's strawberry lemonade yo-yos. It's a sandwich cream cookie. They, you know, they're pretty famous for these. I feel like I got them last year. Not a hit. I can't remember. Maybe those are something else, but I'm not going to buy them again. But they do have this strawberry lemonade. New for summertime, they have a teal insulated bag. It says Trader Joe's on it. Whoop, whoop. Okay, but they also have key lime tea cookies. They look fantastic. This biscotti lemon. Ooh, lemon biscotti. Oh, they look great. Biscotti is actually a crowd pleaser on a charcut board. Ooh, check it. Gluten-free Madeline's up in here. And this is one of Alex's favorite items. They used to sell it in a big bin, but now you only get like two for, gosh, I don't know, probably too much, but I love him. So here we go. <laughs> See some new cereal maybe for summer. Strawberry-ish. It's giving like special K with the yogurt clusters. Those are my kids' favorites. I, I guess I could grab a box for them. My kids eat cereal for like dessert. Oh my gosh, they have gluten-free granola? Is that granola? I don't even know what that, yeah, it is granola. I can read cursive. I remember when this pancake bread first appeared at TJ's. I don't know, man. Mine tasted like baking soda. Maybe I got a bad batch. Do you love it? Should I give it another shot? Ooh, cinnamon sugar bread. Sounds real good. All right, check it. Mini cupcakes. Oh, but that's not the exciting part. The exciting part is that they're gluten-free. Trader Joe's, you're doing amazing things over here for the gluten-free community. Strawberry jalapeno crisps? I mean, is that even a question? Come on. Strawberry jalapeno. Although I feel like I've had those before. All right, we'll give them another try. What is it? What do we dip it in? Hummus? A couple new exciting things. They have mini cheeseburgers. I feel like my kids will gobble these up. How much is it? $4.49 for four in here? That's pretty funny. Convenience wins, you know, sometimes stuffed meatball that sounds really good and then they've got some beef oh everyone's having a good time at Trader Joe's <laughs> I want to laugh Cuban style whatever that is a bowl and then ooh, some fish I like all these burgers chip ooh, salmon burgers mahi mahi sounds real good good day at Trader Joe's when they have samples Ooh, fruity jellies. I've had this sample before. It's like a Twizzler, but really, really thick. My kids would love that. Oh, dragons and swimmers, Scandinavian style. Mmm, I love this. I think I saw these on the summer, like, treat board or whatever. They're little baby lobsters. So cute. This is some of my favorite. I haven't seen this before. It looks really good. They also have cauliflower, gnocchi, and more. All kinds of gnocchi up in here. They always have a bunch of candies here. What are these? Chocolate watermelon sticks. Ooh, the kids loved those last time. Orange sticks. I should probably get two bags of these, but also probably shouldn't, if you know what I mean. They have a ton of fish. Ooh, coconut flavored almonds. Love a good coconut almond. All right, it's full of treats. Ooh, I haven't seen these treats before. Oat chocolate bars with crispy rice. 
Soy free, dairy free, gluten free. Oh, well, wow, wow, wow. A meatless cheeseburger pizza. Well, my one of my neighbors would really love that. Breaded cheddar cheese curds. You guys, I'm out of my mind here. There's so many cool things. I never come here, so I don't really know what's new and what's not, but this feels new to me. Sparkling water, blueberry lemonade. Wait, where's the watermelon? <gasps> Ooh, is the watermelon all gone? This sriracha seasoning blend. You know, they are the creators of everything but the bagel. Ooh, chocolatey cats are cookies for people. We gotta double up on these. So I don't know if this is any good or not, but they have some Japanese multi-purpose seasoning. Ooh, is that seaweed in there? I feel like my kids are gonna love this, but will it be, will it be practically used? You know what I mean? It's been so long. I almost forget like all the awesome stuff that they have. Strawberry shortcake. Oh my gosh, somebody peel me away from here. That chocolate hazelnut cookies. I, well, uh, if I had less self-control, I'd be buying all those. The waffles are great. The heck is this a maple pop for jits? I said that perfectly. Don't even try to correct me. A mini pink. I'm gonna try those. I actually last time I tried out mini pancake puffs, they weren't good. But let's try these. All right. What's life about if you don't try new things, right? Protein dark chocolate muffin. I have a couple of those. It's like the Cody Ake brand. I, we really like them. Actually, they're delicious. These are gluten-free pancakes. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Ooh, you know what I've been craving lately? Some German potato pancakes. Cauliflower pancakes? What the heck? They have cauliflower pancakes down there. Oh, and then right next to us is my absolute favorite. I can make these from scratch, but oh, it's just so good. Just like with their freezer section, their freezer, their breakfast section. Oh my gosh, their ice cream section. A non-dairy oat. You know, I'm gonna grab those. I wasn't gonna grab anything, but here I am. And then these watermelon peach macarons. I mean, it's summertime, right? It's like I'm incapable of saying no. Ooh, these are really good too. The dark chocolate covered honey grams with sea salt. It's just like the perfect amount of sea salt. They've got chocolate covered pretzels and yogi covered pretzels. All right. Oh, you know what I love too? Wait, what the heck is this? A mint mouthful. Ooh, gone bananas and gone strawberries. Meredith loves those, but also love these mini cones. Is this a new flavor? Chocolate, chocolate chip, and vanilla. And it's perfect because look how little they are, right? When the kids ask for ice cream, it makes me feel less guilty when they're this little. This is new to me, the chili spicy pasta sauce. And then I saw something else too. Ooh, red pepper with almond pesto sauce. That's interesting. Uh, what else? No, there was something else. Ooh, this is it. Cajun style Alfredo sauce. That seems really interesting too. I, whenever I buy this, I feel like I never use interesting stuff like that. It just sits in my cupboard until, ooh, sun-dried tomatoes, but they're dried. Ooh, that's great. I feel like whenever I need these, I don't have them. So I'm going to get some of those. Or I normally get the huge jar from Costco and it's in my fridge for four years. Hold on. Ooh, exciting, exciting, exciting. Peach black tea candle. You know Trader Joe's is known for their candles. <laughs> Mango tangerine. Ooh, that smells delightful. And then peach black tea. All right, well, I thought they would have, I don't really care about this, actually. <laughs> it's just right in the middle up here. Lemon baton wafers. Ooh, a lemon. Instead of having the chocolate on the inside. Oh, cute little gummy bears. I'll grab some of these for the kids. One for each of them. The big ones who have teeth anyway, you know? All right, what's this? Sea Breeze Castile Hand Soap. Fantastic for four bucks. Look at this container it comes in too, so chic. This is the squishy knife cut style noodles. Never heard of these. What's happening with this? I need a picture. Okay, so what? And then they have some sauce too, crunchy chili onion sauce. Well, that could be a lunch. These look interesting too, trail mix crackers, mung bean seeds, cashews, raisins, and cheese. They always have some really fun like kitchen items slash home items, whatever, soap and stuff. Oh, oh, self-care. I don't know what the heck it's called. They have dry shampoo. Huh, I didn't know that. A shampoo bar. Ooh, peach mango hand soap. I feel like I need some hand soap, maybe. It's always so busy in Trader Joe's. Here's my basket full of all of the goodies. Well, I was not expecting to get this much, but, uh, you know, it's Trader Joe's. 
on my way home now. Hydrate. Two things that I have a problem with Trader Joe's. One, everything is just so dang cute and I wanna buy everything. Two, their parking lot, I had to like, I could barely fit, I was about to crawl through the trunk. I'm not even joking. Uh, but I didn't wanna hurt the chandelier. <laughs> Time to go home and I'll show you everything that I got. And then lunchtime, oh, people are brave in the parking lot. I like to strategically park where there's a curb. So that way when I back up and I hit the curb, it's better than hitting a car. Hold on, I'm gonna turn around on this roundabout just so I'm able to show you this one house. But really, every house on this roundabout is a gem. We're in like South Tampa, so these houses are like billionaire homes, and they're just so dang beautiful. I mean, mansion after mansion, even this one right here, multi-million dollar house. But this gem, this beauty, look at the arches. Look, you can't even really see it because it's shadowed. Hold on, can I just pull in the driveway? Is this allowed? Is the, Am I breaking any kind of law right here? I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure this is my dream house. First of all, right next to Trader Joe's. Look at that fence. Look at the peaks on the roof. Look how close the neighbors are <laughs> on both sides. But Lord, Lord, this house is so gorgeous. Just a stunner. I wonder what their dining room looks like. Should I knock on their door? <laughs> Come and knock on our door. DJ Catlin. Hey, we'll be waiting for you. We just got home. I put the groceries inside, said hello to the kids. Wolfgang is upstairs with Meredith playing and I'm afraid if I just start talking, he's gonna hear me and then he's gonna like lose his cool. So I'm gonna start uh, sharing the grocery haul with you. I'm gonna unpack it first. But while I was at Trader Joe's, I thought, well, what do I need? And the answer to that is, I don't know. I did, I started meal planning for the week ahead um, last night on my phone, but the thing is, um, I didn't make a grocery list and my meal plan didn't save. <laughs> so I didn't have anything, because normally I do it on the app, the Macro Friendly Foods app, where you know you kind of make a meal plan, whatever. You just say add to meal plan, it's really simple. And then it'll give you a grocery list of everything that you need to make those meals. And it's really simple, but last night I guess I didn't save it. So that's my fault. But anyway, I didn't really buy, okay, here's what's funny about that. I didn't really buy um, stuff for dinners or anything <laughs> because Trader Joe's is just like a fun, fun food, you know? Alex actually sent me a, I don't know, an article. <laughs> what can we call them? I don't know where he found it, something online where it was like five things successful people don't buy or don't spend their money on or something like that and the first one was uh processed foods and i'm like well i'm failing that's where i fail okay because trader joe's has just like some of the fun processed foods so i went ham on those and then uh funny enough is alex buys lottery tickets he gives himself a budget each month it's very small to buy lottery tickets each month and Ironically, he wins almost every time. When I say almost, I mean 90, 95% of the time, he is a winner. It blows my mind, I don't play, so that way, if I don't play, I don't lose, <laughs> but also I don't win. But I feel like he is the minority in the fact that uh, he wins almost every time. He, I mean, he's not winning like, obviously, he's not winning like big time. I'm like, what are the odds of winning big time? Because that'd be nice. Anyway, um, but lottery tickets was on that list too, so it was number five. <laughs> but processed foods was number one, so I'm failing in that department. But that being said, let me show you all the fun processed foods that I got from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe, he's the happiest guy I know. Trader Joe, what is that, woodchuck? You guys know what I'm talking about, the woodchuck? You know, from Full House. Oh my gosh, uh, Trader Joe, no crap, what was it called? Ranger Joe, Ranger, was that the woodchuck's name? Woodchuck Ranger, Ranger Joe and the Woodchuck 
Was it just Mr. Witch? I feel like I need answers to this. Hold on just a dang second. Okay, so I just Googled. It's Mr. Woodchuck. He was the adorable slash kind of scary chipmunk puppet. But now there is an article that popped up too. It said the tragic reason why the original Mr. Woodchuck wasn't in the reboot Fuller House. So now I feel like I need to uh, investigate a little bit more. Okay, <laughs> just a second. So the article states that the actor Dave Coulier kept the original Mr. Woodchuck and then his dog Ranger ate his face. All right, here's the haul. As a whole, I also have a ton of pasta. I stocked up on pasta and I'll tell you why in a second. Okay, I told you one of the top items is this, these dark chocolate watermelon sticks. I should have bought two packs. They're so good, I just ate one, mm, delicioso. All right, let's start over here with the healthy stuff bananas and that's where it ends <laughs> i got some garlic bulbs because i am in need of some but don't think i'll be going to costco anytime soon and then i got a couple of bagged salad kits caesar salad and then peanut and crispy noodle i feel like that'll be a hit um the kids are also diving into the dark chocolate peanut butter cups and then i got the mini peanut butter cups over here i went ham on the chocolate stuff oh Avelina dove into these. These are for daddy. The sea salt brownie bites, perfect amount of sea salt. Can't stop them, you know? And then I got these for me, the chocolate coconut almonds. They're just so good. And the, the coconut tastes real, whereas the one from Costco, it has like, I mean, I don't wanna say it tastes artificial because it's so dang good, but the portion size of this is much better than the one from Costco, so that's how I control myself. And then the chocolatey cats, they're cookies for people. These are always a staple for us. Meredith loves them. I like to dip them in peanut butter and it just gives them a little extra protein. It makes me feel like I'm eating something decent. I also grabbed some uh, mini cheese sandwich crackers. What are these? Like Ritz crackers, like the mini crackers, they're fun. And then Alex likes sparkling water. I actually didn't even look at the ingredient list because he, what, where the heck is it? He can't seem to handle the natural flavors in it. So this one, yeah, does have natural flavors. We'll see if he can handle that. That's why I normally do spin drift because that one is without natural flavors. It literally is just the citrus. Well, at least the ones that we get. Okay, I also grabbed some chicken breast just for lunches, sandwiches, whatever. And then some Greek yogurt. This is vanilla and then plain. The kids like to eat that. They make smoothies with it, whatever. And then I use Greek yogurt for a lot of dinners. You saw me grab these strawberry and jalapeno crisps. I don't know if those are gonna be any good. These cupcakes are always a hit. I'm surprised the kids didn't like jump onto these. The little kids like them the most. And then they didn't even see, I got these as a summer treat. I usually never buy these, but I feel like at Trader Joe's, maybe they're healthy. They're not. Um, here's another boxed cereal mix. Pe my kids normally eat this for like dessert anyway. So, um, okay, hold on. And then I really only went for this. Oh gosh, where's the piece that goes with it? Oh, it's over there. This is olive oil and mine broke oh my gosh after how many years have i had it five years probably it broke so i just need to replace it it doesn't have the cricket lettering mm -hmm. that i had on it but it'll be good enough uh, i like how it has that pour spout and it's a really great price from trader joe's i want to say like 10 bucks and then i grabbed some gnocchi i needed to stock up on my pasta because i'm running really low also need some hand soap for the laundry room but then I was loading laundry the other day and I think it just fell behind the washer, but I can't reach it. So I'm just gonna put this there. This is the foaming soap. And I wanna say that was a good price too. A couple bucks for that. I grabbed these sun-dried tomatoes and these are like shelf stable. So that'll be really nice. It won't take up a lot of space in my fridge. And these were from the freezer section, black bean and cheese taquitos from the freezer section as well. My kids like these. We've had them before, the mac and cheese bites. Um, French fries, obviously. <laughs> My kids like these. Everyone likes a good French fry. And apple mango crusher. I don't know, fruit sauce crushers. Not the best price, but better than a grocery store. Unless, when I get them, I like to wait for like a BOGO sale, buy one, get one free sale. Or Costco, obviously. But they don't have mango, so I thought I'd give Wolfgang a little treat. And then for the ice creams, check these ice creams, aren't they so darling? Non-dairy oat and they're just little bars in there. How many are in here? 
I don't know, but enough to feed the crowd. And then, of course, I got the mini cones too, the peach and watermelon macaroons. I got some organic coconut flakes. I think I'm gonna make like a tropical cake or something. I forgot what it's called. Oh, uh, let me think. Nope, I forgot. It's called a... Uh, nope, I definitely... I can't even think about it right now. It's some kind of cake. Pineapple? No, I don't know. Just stay tuned. I think maybe I'll probably share it here on Instagram. Power berries. Oh, just I can't stop. And then these, I thought these would be great for breakfast ideas. They're egg sandwiches. I've seen these, but I never tried them because... I saw them at Costco and I don't want to buy like a hundred of them. If I don't like them, I figured Alex and I could try them out. There's two in each. Are there two in each? Two egg patties. Nope. Hold on. Oh, there's two. There's two in each. Okay. And then, because I'm, I, I need to eat more than one, right? Okay, so that's only one serving for me. And then potato pancakes. I actually cannot wait to make those. Also got these two. Excited to try those. Those will be in the freezer. And then for dinner one night, I can just throw this in. I haven't had it before. I've had their fried rice, but this is with the chicken in it. I don't love their orange chicken. I know a lot of people rave about that. Not my favorite. I just think I've, I've gotten too many like gross, chewy, crunchy bits. Um, I got gummy bears for the kiddos to share. This is left over from the other day, but I'll take some. And I think... Not sure. I'm just kidding. And then over here, I saw someone stocking up, like literally stocking up 10 bags. And she was still grabbing as I walked away. <laughs> she said she loved them. Trail mix crackers. So I thought, no, oh, I'll give those a try. And then the pasta. This is like the pigtail pasta I used for the pasta salad when we had Meredith's um, Peppa Pig birthday party. And it was just so fun. But the amount that I paid for a bin like this for a contain, what is the 16 ounces of pasta? Unreal. When I tell you the price... I don't even remember. I blacked it out. I said it's for a birthday party, so it's special. I paid so much money for one bag of pasta. This is only $2.99. So I stocked up and then it's, and it's fun, right? For like pasta salads and stuff. And then they had this um, super fancy type of pasta, pasta too. And then when I was checking out, she was the ch cashier. She was fantastic. She said, have, have you seen the lasagna ones? I was like, no, I don't know. So she grabbed these. I wish she would have grabbed a couple more bags because these look really fun too. They're cute. I love those pastas. You know, that's what life is all about. Just doing little things that bring happiness and joy to us. Were those the most affordable pastas? Honestly, kind of. <laughs> They're just as affordable as you know, a thing of spaghetti is at a normal grocery store, $2, $1.99. Costco pasta is really expensive. I never get it there. But they do have, the, well, I shouldn't say never. I do uh, during the holidays because they have the fancier pasta. Um, and it is semi-affordable if you're not finding it at places like Trader Joe's because the more, like, a different shape, you know, a unique shape of pasta, if you will, is like $8 anywhere else. And I want to say Amazon, it was 15 actually. Eight, 8 to 15 something wild and crazy and absolutely ridiculous. But, you know, during the holidays, it's a reason to branch out. Unless you're getting it like buy one, get one free, which rarely happens with the fancy ones, but with like spaghetti noodles and stuff like that, obviously that happens and it's more economical to get it that way. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the cool ones, the cool ones that look like pigtails and baby mini lasagna. Oh, maybe I'll make that. What's that? Like lasagna in a pot, lasagna soup with those noodles. That's going to be a smash hit. It's real cute too. I'm excited. By the way, this is the dessert I'm making. Sheet pan Hawaiian poke cake hooked on phonics. But that will be in a what's for dinner video. So I don't know what I need for that, but I'm sure I don't have everything I need. Cool whip. I need some cool whip. Trader Joe's doesn't sell that crap. <laughs>